Hi everyone, it's Fitz with the Daily Delivery. Yeah, we're gonna rehash that basketball game a little bit more and talk about what's really gone wrong for the Kansas State Wildcats this season. And it's a fault created entirely by the coaches. I'll explain in a bit. First reminder, please subscribe to the YouTube channel right here. We know a lot of you aren't. Hit the thumbs up, leave those comments. And also, if you're an avid viewer of this daily delivery, these daily deliveries, head on over to our Big 12 Insiders channel. We're trying to build it up. We'll eventually migrate the Big 12 show off the K-State channel into its own channel, but we've got to build a little foundation of viewership, including getting to at least 1K followers on that channel. Please help us out. On with the DD. This Kansas State team is turning out to be exactly what it was earlier in the season. They just lack a true point guard. The coaches failed to get that true point guard to come in. Uh, Jerome Tang values veteran guards, and he wanted a second guard through the transfer portal. And, you know, he got it with Quez Glover to go with Tyler Perry, but Quez wasn't a true point guard either. He's been injured all season, but he's more of a combo guard. Might he have helped? Yes. Is he explosive and fast? Yes. He might have been more of a Desi Sills type, <clears throat> which his team could use. But they still didn't have that point guard. And as good as Tyler Perry's been the last three games, I, I want to give him credit for something uh, before that happened. He kept persisting. This kid wants to be in the postseason. And while he's, he's been incredibly frustrating, missing some shots, not making great plays at times, he has always given effort. Effort's never been the problem with Tyler. It's just that he's being asked to do something that isn't in his wheelhouse. It is not in his talent to do some of the things that they want him to do. I've said this before, but point guards grow up being point guards. They, they handle the ball. When they're kids, they start handling the ball. They're the guy that brings it up. They're the guy that passes it off. They're the guy that learns how to make some incredible passes and create shots for teammates. They do this all through high school and AAU. And to take a guy in his senior year and then say, hey, we didn't really have recruit and go like we wanted. You got to be the point guard. It's not working. And it hasn't worked all season. And with that said, Tyler is just absolutely lighting it up right now. But again, down the stretch, Tyler took it to the rim against a seven-foot shot blocker and lost control of the ball. I think probably because he realized, crap, I'm not getting this ball over him. That turnover late in the game was a backbreaker. Did Casey have another opportunity? Yes. But they didn't have that point guard who was able to come up the court and set up a guy like Tyler Perry to catch the ball and shoot it. It's been the Achilles heel of this team all season long, and it's right there on full display. If they don't make it to the NCAA tournament, and that looks like a long shot now, we can all say it was because they didn't recruit the right parts. It all comes back to recruiting and coaching. And I hope in the offseason they make some corrections with the roster and they demand better skill development from these guys. Having skills this bad with dribbling and passing when you're in college, in the Big 12, come on, make it stop.